Here we are, just about uh, four kilometers from Barkerville, and we got a pretty big column of smoke up there. We got the heavy duty conveyors flying around the Electra, and uh, Bird Dog, of course, accompanying him. But uh, that's the first column I'm seeing so far. This is bad news. My God. Falling out right now. Anything could happen. Wow. I'll watch the video later. Feel the heat. I need more knives, I need water. They ain't dry mopping this. We're here at Antler Creek. And uh, it looks like there's a pretty good fire going up that way. I'm just guessing by the smoke, it's still pretty white smoke. But look at it, it is gathering itself a little bit up there. So maybe only rank three, maybe a little four going on there yet. And we got obviously one over here. Brand new fire starts. And just a little black smoke in there, but it has started to make a pyrocumulus. So that is kind of neat. And uh, I think that little bit of black smoke is gonna pick up and we're probably gonna see that fire do something this afternoon. So pretty interesting. And uh, there's a lot of gold mining stuff out in that neighborhood. I'm not sure exactly where the fire is. So, you know, don't get to take anything I say as, as uh, actual information. That's for BC Wildfire to distribute. And uh, if you have claims back there, I'm sure you already know. We got that fire kicking up now. That's actually in the direction of Wells. So that must be the one that those uh, air tankers were looking at. And it seems to pick up some uh, energy because I wasn't seeing smoke that way earlier when we first left in our drive. And uh, out towards Bower Park, it's incredibly smoky. We got that other fire over there. It seems to have grown. It's got its own uh, pyrocumulus head. So uh, there's fires in every direction. Every direction we got new fire starts here in Wells, including this one that seems uh, maybe a little uncomfortably close to town. Now you're not gonna be able to see this very good. I don't have a very good angle, but uh, so many of my places have grown in that I used to look at, uh, take a look at the park. So I gotta find some new locations. Uh, there's been a rapid growth of things. So there's like trees are like a foot taller, it seems like in all the cut blocks all of a sudden. But uh, that's looking out towards uh, the, the mountain in behind, the next one over, the taller one is Kaza Mountain. So that's uh, right near Sandy Lake in Bowron Park. Uh, it doesn't look too big. And uh, here's some of the smoke coming over from above us, from the other side of Two Sisters Mountain here, wherever that fire is. And we're gonna go have a look at that one too, I think on our way home. And uh, an unexpected thing that's happening here. I mean, besides our fire out there, the total bank of smoke that's now enveloping the Caribou Mountains. Uh, like I say, I've never seen anything quite like that. I've never seen the Caribou Mountains themselves be the source. Uh, this region be the source of that much smoke uh, this quickly from one lightning storm. See the bird dogs flying. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the heavy bomber to come through here in a minute. That is fairly close to Wells, man. And uh, there's fire in every direction from here. Not sure if you can see the bird dog there. He's flying around. Means the heavy bomber's not too far away. I gotta do everything they can to stomp that one close to town as fast as we can. I'm gonna hit it with everything. The other ones, I don't know. We'll see what resources are there for them. That's obviously the priority. We got mines right here too that are in the direction that that fire will travel. Plaster mines. The good news is there's a lot of equipment back there already because of that. So nice visit from Benson tonight. There's your photo. Yeah. And you know, the good thing is, well, it's not under any threat whatsoever. So that's yeah, a lot of fires and it's alarming to see um, something like an event like that happen. Uh, Kathy says she's seen something like it before. She's been here a long time. So maybe I can believe that. But uh, yeah, it's still pretty windy out. So, you know, we got days of uh, challenging weather ahead for British Columbia. That's just the way it is. So anyways, hit like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll keep an eye on these things. And you know, who knows, maybe uh, if I go quiet for a while, I'm busy actually working them. <laughs>